If you're new to our channel, my partner Adam and I and our dog Twyla have been traveling part-time around Australia for the last two years. So to check out all our past episodes and all our episodes in the future, make sure you go down the bottom and like and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino. And on this episode, I'm going to take you through 10 things to get you ready for summer. That warmer weather is coming around the corner. It's so exciting. Look at this beautiful day, spring day. It is gorgeous and it's just going to get better and better. So let's get yourself organized and make sure you've got everything you need. Number one, fly screens. Now, if you've got a caravan, most of them do come with fly screens built in already um, for your windows and your door. Uh, but if you've got a van like ours, most of the times it's an accessory. So you need to go out and buy by yourself or get them put in when you get your van built. Um, a lot of the new ones have the zip in, zip out, so you don't have to have them up all the time. They're a nice, thick quality, um, which are fantastic. Adam and I, with the van, the lady that owned it before us made them with some fly nets that you can actually buy from like Bunnings and places like that, I'm pretty sure. Um, and she's sewn them to go on our back doors and, and our side um, door. So it keeps the flies out and does the tricks. It uses magnets, so which is really handy. So we can walk in and out without having to pull things or zip things and all the rest of it. We can literally walk straight through them. So that makes it a bit easy to get in and out in the summer days. Citronella, this is your best friend during the summer times, especially here in Oz. It just gets ridiculous with the mosquitoes around, especially in places like this where the water's pretty still, you're gonna get a lot. And if it's anything like last year, there will be plenty around this year. So yeah, we've got a candle that we normally pull out. Um, we have, we just recently tried some sticks. They're like long incense sticks, but they're Cinderella. They work fantastic. You can pop them around uh, a few spots around your campsite and that'll normally work. And also you can um, get sprays and things like that. But otherwise I think the um, candles and the uh, sticks work quite well. Number three, food fly nets. Yes, with all this beautiful weather, you're gonna be barbecuing and having food outside. And one thing you don't want is those uninvited guests like flies. Now we find that um, we have ones that don't fold down, but we don't mind. Um, I got them from Aldi and I find that they work really good. We can store them away easy enough. We store things inside them upside down. So um, it's like just having a big bowl. Um, the one reason why we like these so much is it actually fits our, um, our cheese board perfect. So no flies can get on our cheese um, when we're having grazing platters when we're away. Um, but you can get the fold down fly nets, which work just as good, if not better. And you can get quite large ones. So depending on if you're a big family, you might want a few, you might want to get um, a quite a large one. So definitely food for four and um, to keep those flies off your food. Number four is sun protection. Now in this harsh sun of ours in Australia, you've got to make sure you stay covered up. So a hat's a good idea. Maybe not so much when a hat like this, really you should be wearing a wide brim hat, sunglasses, sun cream. Yes, and get it on there and get it on your skin, on your back of your neck, around your ears. And um, make sure it's a good sun cream too. Sometimes the sprays aren't the best. Make, probably better off using a cream. But yeah, just make sure you've got yourself um, new sun cream that is in date because they do go out of date. A lot of people don't realize that. They have them there and they're from five years ago. So <laughs> make sure, like I said, you slip, slop and slap and get under a tree when the sun's fully out. Number five keeping cool. 
Now, one of our ways we keep cool is with our portable fans, which do charge up, so we don't need to have them plugged in all the time, which is great. Especially when traveling with a dog, we can connect it to her bed and it keeps Twyla cool. And she absolutely loves having the wind blowing in her face. We've used them at restaurants, well, maybe more so pubs when we're eating outside, and that really helps. And then also inside at night, um, sometimes on a hot night when we're not have we don't have power to turn our aircon on um we can use them and by having a couple we can put them in different directions if adam doesn't want his on he doesn't have to and he can turn his up or down depending on how he wants it and the same as myself uh, another thing is too with keeping cool is maybe considering if you are traveling with a dog or kids um, is getting a powered site. Um, if it's, you know it's gonna be absolutely boiling, um, sometimes it's good just to be able to plug in to power and be able to use your air con to keep cool, especially if you've been out in the heat all day. Um, it's nice to have a spot where you can come in and get your pup cool and yourself and the family. Number six is shade. Now, we're lucky enough on our van, we have an awning that comes right out and gives us plenty of shade. Obviously, sometimes you have to think about the way you're parking your van. Now, really, you want your sun on your van pretty much in the morning and you don't want it so much on in the afternoon because then you're just gonna get your van nice and hot and that goes for caravans also and including tents with tents you want that sun in the morning obviously to get your tent warmed up but in the afternoon you definitely want to put it so the sun is not shining on it in the afternoon um, so yeah and then I recommend if you don't have an awning get yourself a marquee and that'll give you plenty of shade especially if there's not many trees around if you've got a dog or kids, it's always a, not another good spot for them to come and just cool down when they, and get them out of the sun. Number seven. I've got Twyla here joining for this one because it's all about pets. Now, if you're traveling with your pets, there are ways to keep them cool through summer by doing a few little things. You can get cooling mats. Now, we brought one of them from, uh, for Twyla when she was a pup. But she did actually chew it and the liquid came out of it. So just make it a warning. Make sure you're puppy your dog is out of that stage of chewing because should be fine with it now but back then no 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 <laughs> you didn't do too good with it did you um and then also you can play um ice games if you've got a good enough freezer you can freeze one of their toys or some treats and let them play with the ice block and lick that to keep them cool and um then that way they can get a treat while they're doing it in the summer Make sure you've got plenty of water, especially if you're out all day, you need your doggy bowl and plenty of water um, in the backpack. So they've got a drink whenever they need it. And if there's a water around and it's safe, they could always have a bit of a dip. Does that keep you cool, Twyla? Yes. You want to get down and play, don't you? Okay. Number eight is water safety. Now, with the warmer weather, we're gonna be all heading to places where there's water, we'll be swimming, but it's always good to look out for each other and make sure no one's getting in trouble in the water. Try not to swim alone, have people around you. Um, if you're camping next to other people, you know, and you see someone who looks like they're in trouble, you know, either get help or, you know, try to help yourself. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of things to think about when it comes to water safety. <laughs> Word of warning, just watch drinking and swimming because the two don't really go hand in hand as much as we want them to. Number nine, first aid kit. Yes, you should have one of these regardless if it is summer, spring, autumn, whatever. You should definitely have yourself a first aid kit. We have quite a large one. We really like ours. It does a job awesome. Um, thank God we haven't really had to use it yet besides a band-aid or two. Uh, but yeah, it is so handy to have. And especially with this warmer weather, you will start seeing snakes. So one thing we do do, and I've said this in one of our episodes about camping with dogs, 
is one of us will walk in front of Twyla on the tracks, looking out for snakes, um, not letting her, and she walks in between us um, always. Uh, just in case the snake comes out from the grass, um, she always walks between us. And, and not just dog safety, human safety as well. You know, just keep your eye out, and like I said, and make sure you're up to date with your first aid and making sure you know how to take care of a snake bite. There's plenty of videos on YouTube you can watch, um, but yeah, it's definitely something you need to start thinking about in this warm weather. All right, guys, it's number 10 time, and number 10 is insect repellent you are definitely gonna need this i tell you they are out there and they are wanting your blood <laughs> sounds like a vampire but yeah there's all different insect repellents you can even get the bracelets now um you can get the roll on you can get the sprays you can get the creams you name it they've got it there is so many out there and um like i said if the mozzies are as bad as last year it's gonna be bad so definitely get your spray on. Well, there you go, that is 10. But before we go, I'm giving you one bonus. And this is probably Adam's favorite thing to take away for summer. And you're gonna go, what? <laughs> it's the famous shoe away. So these, we have two of them now. Our friend Laura brought our first one for us and we took it away on our first big trip away in our van and it was so good. We end up buying a second one, especially when you're having things like um, fish and chips where you can't have a net on it, but you wanna be eating it, but you don't want flies jumping on while you're eating it. So these work fantastic for that. They chew the, all the um, flies away. They won't go on your food. They're fantastic that you can even take them to outdoor restaurants and places. We've done it before and they work great. People might give you a bit of a weird look, but don't worry, at least you won't have flies on your food. Well, that's it for another midweek episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this, getting ready for summer. And we'll be on live chat this Sunday at 5 p.m. to answer any of your questions. And until then, see you later, guys. Bye.